I played Yone for 10 hours straight. Not just mid lane Yone, not just Yone top lane. I played Yone 80 carry. Here's my story. At the start of our week, we got into a match with an Ezreal Zyra. Not a bad matchup, but I know we can do. This match took a long time to load into, so I'm already suspicious. And as you can tell, our Octon is AFK. His graphics card crashed. What are we gonna do? We're gonna play it out. But I didn't think we were gonna play it out. So I flash in here. I said, put up the surrender vote. And just wait till you see what happens. I flash, hit my W, I Q her, and I get first blood. Ezreal gets away with little to no HP, which is unfortunate. You know, it's a first blood. And that's all that matters. Then here, you can see Akshon is AFK. His graphics card crash in the middle of mid lane. And here we go again. We're gonna go in. We're gonna secure a kill on Zyra. She was very mad that I ended up killing her so many times. She was mad that I was targeting her and not her ADC. But she was the worst player. So why don't I target her? Then here, I notice a volley bear. So I lose my shit. I run and end up getting a kill on him. He had a shutdown, a 200 gold bounty at that. I have to flash the Ezreal Q just in case. And Ezreal is going to get away once again. Fast forwarding a bit. I go in. I know where Akshon's back. He is back. And with that knowledge, I have to win this game. I am going to win this game for our act. He's back and I'm filled with jubilance and joy. I go after the inhib. I know we can fucking win this. I know it for a fact. Zyra tries to root me. I don't know. But I see the volley bear. And I know in order for us to win, he needs to die. I try to target the Zyra. I mess up terribly. So I know I still need to do something. I miss again on my third Q. And now I'm taking 20 tower shots. About to die. But then I get healed by the Yumi. Which is awesome. And I go in on the volley bear. And end up securing the And that wins us the game there he is the action level three or four and we win the game and that is how our one and the start of our two i had some horrible horrible plays but it's okay as you can see here i go in on a samira thresh and get hooked there's wow. nothing I can do except die. And then my duo Yumi dies as well. Mm, that's not good. And you can hear my reaction. No, Mustard, that's not good. Not at all. Here we are again. Our Rengar's here. Maybe we can do something. Maybe we killed the dead Samira. Oh. Nope. She just heals up all the way. Nothing we can do about it. You can hear my reaction in the FF vote. I gave up. My inner yawn is coming out. And as you can see, the FF vote commenced. I was glad to get out of that game. Now the second game of our two. It did all right. I went pretty good. Let's try and kill this Garen, maybe. The FF vote's already up. I voted no. Maybe we can kill him. I go in, and maybe I can get him. But wait a second. What? They forfeited. You can hear my reaction. What? I don't know. It you wasn't voted. me who voted yes, no, I Mustard. Voted no. It wasn't me, not at all. Exactly, we voted no. Hour three was a quick hour. I played one match, and as you can see, we got very, very strong. I Katarina got a quadra kill here, and the enemy team just forfeit. There's nothing we could do about that, but I decided after hour three to watch a bit of my replays. I played about four or five games this, at this time. I watched all of them to see what I could do better. I'll tell you what you could do better on, you know, playing an AD carry. Wait till level 3. Play him like Samira. Don't go in until you're level 3. Because then you have your E, your shield, and your Q. Once you do that, get all your procs on your lethal tempo. Once you do that, you should be fine. Yon and Yumi is a very good combo early game and late game. Use it to your advantage. But then, tragedy struck. My inner yone started coming out. 
I started being toxic. I started saying question mark in all chat. I started flexing Mastery 7 all over the place. What was I doing? What was I doing? You can see the Mastery 7 being flashed. Uh, the inner yone is just out and about. Even my Yumi doing it. In this match, it's just this guy, he... He was inting the the Silas was just trolling, and as you can see, he was just walking up. Yo, did he just walk up? Slowly? He was just being weird. But this match, we get a unsurprised attack from Urgot, Aatrox, AD carry, and support. For some reason, they didn't ignite. For some reason, oh, I bought Bramble. Shit. And we I'm are stopping, stopping them from backing. backing. This is intense. Our teammates are. Up in their base, just, just the Aatrox goes in to try and kill me, but he gets fucked. And then the Urgot, I know I can take him. I have purple vest. Why would I not? He whips his ult. We kill the Urgot, and they forfeit. We win. We they forfeit. Okay, <laughs> I was about to say. If you have any champion that you would like me to play AD carry, it could be on meta, it could be off meta, it doesn't matter to me. I will play them. Leave me a build down in the comments. The top comment will get their build or person in the next 10 hour video. Also, make sure you follow my kick. It'll be down in the description. So I will see y'all next time.